Worse than Rodney King. Those are the words from the attorney of a man whose apparent beating by several California officers was all caught on tape. An investigation is now underway into this incident, which started as deputies were trying to serve an arrest warrant. The suspect fled, eventually stealing a horse and leading the officers on a really wild pursuit. Well, you see right there, the chase ends oh. with the suspect falling off the horse, kind of hiding, but then spreading his arms and legs on and laying on the ground. Deputies then deployed a taser and appeared to kick and punch the suspect. Stephanie Elam has been following this story for us. Stephanie, it's pretty extraordinary that this was all caught on camera. What more are you learning about what happened and why? It, it is pretty phenomenal when you take a look at that video uh, there, Kate and John. But what they're saying here is that in this case, they went to go serve this uh, arrest warrant because it, there's an identity theft issue that they were going for in Apple Valley, which is pretty rural, this part that we're talking about here in San Bernardino. Uh, he took off in car, then he got out and fled on foot. And then he stole someone's horse, which makes it look like we're in the rural wild, wild west. When you look at this uh, video here, right here, that was obtained shot by KNBC here in Los Angeles. But they're saying at this point, what people are concerned about is the fact that it looks like the suspect puts his arms out and then puts his hands behind his back before he seems to be beaten uh, by these uh, law enforcement officials. Now, the San Bernardino Sheriff John McMahon uh, did put out a statement saying that they are going to do an internal investigation into this use of force, saying the video surrounding this arrest is disturbing, and I've ordered an internal investigation be conducted immediately. So lots of questions about this, about this 30-year-old whose name is uh, Francis Pushok, and whether or not they went too far. As you see, more and more people showing up into this video. So. Uh, pretty striking when you take a look at it. And any explanation a a as to why it took so much force or they decided to use so much force once he was down or are they just waiting to provide that, Stephanie? This is all part of the investigation that they're saying that they're going to look into this, uh, especially since they said they deployed the taser, but they said because his clothes were loose that it didn't actually hit his, his body, but still the investigation continues.